Principles and Practice, question and answer review question number 10. During a retracement survey, a subsequent resurvey of the property, so a previous resurvey of the property, shows that the north quarter corner of Section 31, Township 2 North, Range 5 East, was, quote, reestablished by proportioning the north quarter corner based on two found points, the northeast quarter corner and the northwest quarter corner. When the resurveyor found the north corner, what condition was it in? Let's rephrase that. This is a big question. So let's distill this down to the most important parts. There was a corner back 10 years ago in a previous survey, and that corner had to be proportioned. Why was it proportioned? Because they couldn't find the darn corner. What kind of corner was it in? What kind of condition was it in? Was it lost, existent, obliterated, or non-existent? Many people tell us that they are going to take the FS or PS exam just to see what it is like. Don't waste hundreds of dollars. Take a practice test. Order a full-length practice exam book and find the same categories, types, and number of questions as the actual exam. The situation is this. We got to a place during this previous resurvey, and the old surveyors looked everywhere. They dug and they dug and they found nothing. And because of that, they had to run one quarter east to the northeast quarter and then one quarter of a mile west to the northwest quarter quarter. And they had to reestablish this point using proportioning. So what kind of corner in the public land system is proportioned? Is it lost, existent, or obliterated? Let's explore the definitions of these three terms, because non-existent is a fake term, and then let's decide, based on our information, whether this corner was lost, obliterated, or existent. To begin with, the BLM manual says, an existent corner is one whose position can be identified by verifying the evidence of the monument or accessories. Did we find the monument? No. Did we find any accessories? No. We do not have an existent corner. Darn. BLM manual. An obliterated corner is one at whose point there are no remaining monuments or accessories. Correct. But whose location may be perpetuated by acts or testimony. Do we have any people coming to us, like the landowner or previous surveyors or local authorities, and are they telling us, this corner is here? Is there anyone in this situation that is going to testify to the location of this corner? No. So I would say this is not, not an obliterated corner. Last but not least, lost. A lost corner is a point of survey whose position cannot be determined beyond a reasonable doubt, either from traces of the original marks or from acceptable evidence, and whose location can be restored by one or more independent corners. What is an independent corner? It's something that is not based on the north quarter. So the northeast quarter is an independent corner, and the northwest quarter is an independent corner. And we are going to reestablish the north quarter based on those two independent corners. Therefore, the correct answer is C. The corner is lost. You should bend over backwards to never have a lost corner, because lost corners have the worst available evidence. I wish I could find the actual corner or an accessory. I wish I could find someone like a local landowner or a neighbor to tell me where the old corner used to be. But if I've got no other choice, I must declare the corner lost. And that is why the answer here is C. If you are taking the FS or PS exams, I highly encourage you to know what a lost, obliterated, or existent corner is, 
because those are basic foundational definitions under the public land system. Would you like even more great content on the principles and practice exam? Please join me at NLC prep slash PS for a full length, completely up to date PS prep course where we go over every major PS topic in gory detail and we teach you all the essentials you need to know to pass the PS exam on the first try. Join me at nlcprep.com slash PS.